Residents in a historically black neighborhood on Amelia Island were shocked to see a beachfront home all but demolished. The entire second floor of the A.L. Lewis home in American Beach is gone. The county says a contractor who got permission to renovate the Greg Street home just went too far. On your side's David Jones spoke to that contractor, the county and the person who owns the house and he joins us from American Beach. Looking behind me, this is all that's left of this historic home in American Beach. The county says that a contractor exceeded a renovation permit that was issued, while the owner says that there was so much damage inside the house that they had no other choice. No matter what the reason, people here in this community are feeling upset. This is the beginning of a rapid demise of American Beach. Strong words from Marsha Feltz, a longtime resident here. She stopped to visit the home or what was left of it, talking with workers and taking it in. But here it is, 85 year old house. You're going to knock it down and just move it off like it was never there. That really hurts. Abraham Lewis founded American Beach, a safe haven for African American beachgoers during segregation. Built in 1938, his home was the first constructed on American Beach, a historical marker placed to signify that it's a beach for everyone. First Coast News obtained the permit for the renovation from the county. In it, the scope is listed as, quote, repairs to an existing single family residence and selective remodeling and expansion to remaining structure. In an emailed response, the county planning director told us, quote, the project exceeded the scope as permitted. The contractor in charge of the project stopped by while we were at the site. He told us the wooden walls on the upper levels of the structure were rotting and had been stuccoed over, that they couldn't be saved. He also said the work done was within what was allowed by the permit. Over the phone, property owner Tony Nelson told us the same. Nelson, who is African American, released a statement saying in part, the suggestion that the property is being torn down is a complete fabrication and untrue. During our renovation, we found that the property was in more disrepair than originally expected. The footprint of the house has not changed. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.